Oh, hello guys. And in today's video, uh, we are going to talk about what uh, is the best way to meditate. I know that this is a question or a more of an opinion-based uh, video, uh, but a very important video, I think, that a lot of people uh, have to... Look, there's me. And a lot of people have to make actually a choice uh, how to meditate. And to me, this was a very gr uh, important question, uh, probably in three, like three weeks ago when I discovered Muji. Look at all the unhealthy food here. It's like sweets, chips, uh, meat, sticks. Oh, that's healthy. And today, I hope you can see me right. I'm in Serbichki, of course, and today we are going to talk about what I'm so, I'm so What is the best way to meditate? I'm actually here alone, all by myself, and I had to make that choice. So, there are millions of ways to meditate. You can go meditate to suffer, you can go meditate to enjoy, or to feel bliss, and to to feel peace, peaceful, or you can you can go there for whatever reason you want to go there, basically. And I think you'll have to go there for a reason, without a reason. Today I watched Papa, Papaji, I think his name is H W L Punja Papaji, Papaji, not Papaji. It's like a fruit papaya, not this papaya. And he said. How do I keep quiet? Because uh, there was a questioner. The questioner said, "I can't keep quiet. My mind is always. Uh, I cannot. It seems like I. Uh, there is. It is impossible." And he said, "Well, then remove remove the intention of it." And then I thought, like, yeah, this is what you have to do. If you want to meditate, go meditate, but. Without intention to meditate, so very counterintuitive, but um, also very wise. Because if you go there with an intention and you, the intention isn't fulfilled, then what happens? You start to feel, uh, feel demotivated, like you haven't accomplished something. So, I think this is a very big problem with meditation. People are just... Oops. People are just so into it, and what uh, well, I really discovered is n nothing that you should not keep any intention, any will, and uh, any desires. Because if any desire is fulfilled, then you are only going to keep up that desire and hang and attach to it because attachment leads suffering to suffering. And when you see fully, fully, attachment leads to suffering, you will not suffer. It's very simple. Even meditation you can be attached to is a good thing, but even if you're attached uh, to good things, like you try to love someone, if you're attached to uh, like a partner you have, it's not a good thing because anything that you're attached to, then if you lose, you struggle and you suffer. Isn't that true? So this is actually a problem with relationships, that people are so attached to their love, their partnership that they when when they break up, they are depressed, sad, uh, lonely, or you are never lonely. So so if we want to keep quiet, not just not to speak, if you want to keep the mind absolutely silent, without any intentions, any will, any desires, you have to remove the intention of keeping quiet and keep quiet. You see? Keep quiet, but by not wanting to keep quiet. If you that, if you want something, you will not get anything. That's basically what I was trying to tell yesterday, which I didn't fully explain. But I'm, I'm kind of sorry for it. And this is mainly about advice and how advice just how the, all teachings confuse you. When I was starting with meditation, I watched a channel meditation steps, and there was this guy explaining every 
text that there, there ever was and how we should follow it or 16 points or whatever it is. But I think this is the truth.